<laughs> so this, my friends, is exactly how you don't want to arrive at what was once considered the most dangerous neighborhood on planet Earth. So I started off my day meeting up with my friend in her barrio, Las Americas, in Medellin, Colombia. From there, she took me to the cable cars. These cable cars will take you up into the hills, up into the mountainside. I paid 10 mil pesos, so you're talking 2 to $3. And that gave me a uh, Metro card with a bunch of rides on it for both me and her. It's crazy to think that people stand in line hours to get on little two-minute rides, five-minute rides around artificial theme parks paying extraordinary amounts of money. These views kill any views that you would ever get in any theme park in America. <clears throat> You're looking at real life. It's interesting, these cable cars, they go up these they go up these hillsides and once you get over these hills sometimes they'll dip so you'll ascend you'll descend and then you'll ascend again to go further up the hill because you can't see beyond the hill what's on the other side I mean these views they I capture them all in video but these are the types of things you have to see in person for a full 360 degree pen beautiful mountains beautiful Andes mountains often off in the distance the city of Medellin sits in a valley you can just you're literally looking at millions of homes all from the vantage point of an eagle Comuna 13 is a numbered district within the city of Medellin, Colombia. This actual neighborhood is named San Javier. And this was once a treacherous 
once considered the most dangerous neighborhood on planet Earth, and this dates back to the 80s and 90s, the whole narco-trafficking, gang warfare, this neighborhood is infamous. And while much has changed, um, it's, to be honest, this still isn't a walk in the park neighborhood, but it's a, it's a tourist attraction now. You can take free walking tours, tour the neighborhood. There's many tourist shops. Uh, buy all the little souvenirs you want. Buy Communa 13 t-shirts. Um, stop in, grab an empanada. There's street food that you can buy. It's just overall festive during the day. Now, mind you, this is along the graffiti path. From what my friend tells me, the Clintons infused a lot of money into this neighborhood to really to really try to turn it around. And from what I'm told by local Colombians, that money really helped turn this neighborhood around. And while it's still not the safest neighborhood in America, from what I understand, it's a light years away from what it once was. Apparently the person in the photo is uh, very influential. He's a, he's a big artist in Medellin. My friend was telling me, you know, the Clintons, they infused a lot of money. I guess the Clinton administration, they infused a lot of money building these escalators and really turning around the city. Because I think if history serves me correct, it was during Clinton's watch when Pablo Escobar was taken down. And um, so I guess the Clinton administration was heavily involved in that period of history and um it's really fascinating kind of seeing what what was once considered a very dangerous neighborhood and don't get it wrong it's it's there's still i mean i know other people who've lived there and um from what i hear it is still very dangerous